What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news in politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Joy in Biafra land as uneasy and IPOB finally reconciles and agree to work together. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Oanese Indigbo, and the Mazin Namdi Kano led Indigenous People of Biafra IPOB on Tuesday agreed to work in unison for the purpose of pursuing Igbo interests. The peace was brokered at the instance of First Republic Aviation Minister Chief Mbazulike Amechi, addressing newsmen after the peace meeting held at the Elder Statesman's House in Ukpo, Newi South Local Government Area of Anambra State. Amechi described as unnecessary any form of altercation between Oanese Indigo and IPOB. He said both parties were fighting for the welfare of Ndibo. Amechi, popularly known as a boy, is good in his heydays as Ziki's movement expressed joy over the withdrawal threat by Namdekano of stoning Chief Nia Ungodo, President General of the Oaneze Ndibo, as well as agreeing to work harmoniously with Oaneze Ndibo for the interest of Southeast. He revealed that part of the resolution from the meeting was the demand for the de proscription of IPOB, which he described as illegal, urging governors and state houses of assembly in the region to commence action toward lifting the ban. Given background to the meeting, he said, I summoned the two bodies of Oaneze Indigo and IPOB to express my displeasure with what I have been reading in a newspaper about Kano giving orders for the stoning of Chief Ngodo by IPOB. I am happy that even before this, uh, my peace before bef I am happy that even before this my peace meeting, Kano has retracted the statement. We therefore appeal to Ngodo to accept the retraction and get it off his mind, as IPOB has agreed to work with them. The two bodies, realizing that it is the same battle they are fighting, marginalization, killing, and denial of the federal government to develop Southeast and Igbo land in general, have agreed to work together for the welfare of Nigbo. Also speaking, the representative of IPOB, Aloy Ejimako, said he was at a meeting with the blessings and instruction of his client, and thank Amechi, who he said, was not a stranger to what he was doing, having been once declared a terrorist. He confirmed the retraction of his client's threat on Oane's boss, describing it as one spoken at the heat of the moment. While stressing the urgent need for the regional security, he insisted that such will not be achievable without the, the proscription of the pro from body saying, it has to participate as a muscle building security. He said, there was a synergy between us and the Oaneze body. Nobody is leaving this place with acrimony. There's peace in Igbo land. Anybody coming in to take advantage of some leadership crisis in Igbo land is actually making a mistake. The Igbos are united and love themselves. Otherwise, they couldn't have sustained themselves for the three years civil war. Whoever is saying anything contrary is sowing a seed of discord. Speaking on behalf of Juan is Indigo, the state president of the body, Chief Damian Okeke Ogene, said the body endorsed all that were contained in the communique. He said, those who thought our fences are fallen, we know that the fences are much stronger than they thought. Wow. All right, guys. This is a very big... Uh, and positive development in Biafra land as uh, two main powerful bodies in Igbo land have decided to come together for the common good of uh, the Igbos. You get, and they are Oanese. 
you get an IPOB. And you know that Oaneze is the umbrella body that actually represents Igbos around the world. And IPOB here is the most popular Biafran agitation uh, group. You get both of them have been at loggerhead for a long time now, not just um, recently, I mean, for a long time. You get, and um, that actually seen the hostilities within them rise to. Uh, all time very high recently when Nam the Kano actually ordered for the execution of Nia Unwodo. It never got to that point uh, before, but recently Nam the Kano ordered that uh, uh, um, Nia Unwodo, who is the President General of Oaneze, should be stoned anywhere he is seen, anywhere in any part of the world. So that actually heightened tension in uh, Biafra land, and uh, some people could not actually sit down and watch things disintegrate they had to come in and um one of them here is um amechi you guys he had to come in. he's the one that broke out the peace deal between ohaneze and ipob but before this time out nam the kanu has been a peaceful man he is has retracted the statement he withdrew the statement just on his own you guys he withdrew the statement you get and if he if he didn't withdraw that statement i mean near Wodo's life is was already in danger already because he would have been stoned you get it's not the first time remember what happened to uh Ekeremadu. remember what happened to him he was beating black and blue and uh right from that day Ekeremadu never joked with ipob again so that would have been the same treatment that would have been meted out to uh maybe probably it would have led to his death he would have been killed in the process you get or he would have been fatally wounded if he if he eventually escaped he will, may never remain the same again so this what has happened is a very positive development and both of them have been able to agree on uh, several agenda and that is they will work you get me for the good of the common uh, for the for the Igbo man, that's what they want to do now. This time around, there are certain agenda they've been able to pinpoint for themselves. You get, and they are going to work for um, the marginalization of the Igbo. You get, they're going to work against it, and then they'll work for security of the Igbo. You get, they are going to look at how they can set up a security network to actually fight the headsmen. You know, the headsmen are making. Uh, in route into the southeast so both of them got to work together to see how they can actually uh, meet these guys and you know drive them away you get another thing again that uh, Ejima 4 Ejima 4 is a um, is a lawyer representing Nam the Kanu one of the things they demand they say they said that for peace to be fully realized between the two bodies that Oaneze and the governors must work together to lift the illegal ban they place on IPOB. You remember the court? I think that was 2018 or so. Or was it 2000? And I think, yeah, 2018. The court, you understand me, proscribed IPOB as a terrorist organization. And that was totally unheard of. Nobody expected that. And it was totally illegal. I mean, illegal. These people are not known to be carrying bombs. They don't carry bombs. They don't even carry stick. All they carry is just placard. You get with their inscription for protest. They don't even kill. They don't do anything. But they were proscribed. It came as a shock to the entire world. Not to only Nigerians. The proscription of IPOB came as a shock to the entire world. Because if you look at headsmen, headsmen in both United Nations, European Union, and the U.S have been proscribed as the fourth most dangerous terrorist group in the world i mean the headsmen that are roaming very free in nigeria but in nigeria yeah, they are not proscribed you get so one of the demands that ipob made is that that ipob should be removed and you know that now they cannot accuse oaneze accuse oaneze and the governors of complicity you get in what happened in 2016 and 17 when IPOB members were killed during Operation Python Dance. You get so these wounds keep remaining fresh every year. IPOB commem commemorate their fallen heroes. It keep remaining fresh. And but for Nam the Kano and the IPOB leadership, for them to put this aside 
and decide to work to forgive and decide to work together for the common good of the Igbos is a very big welcome development. It's a very big one. So, Oane is a year, um, even Oane himself actually made some rattling statement recently where he said that he is against Biafra. That's what he said. The, the video is there. The video is all over the internet. He said he is against Biafra agitation, that he will move against it with everything he has, that Igbo should support, you know, uh, a restructuring. That's what he said. They should support restructuring and drop Biafra aside. So you see there that you see how this um, crisis spiraled out of control. You get so, but now that they decide to work together, I think there is is going to be for the the good of the common man, not only just the southeast, but um, for the south south as well and Nigerians as a whole. You get, but. Well, the question still remain: Will this alliance last for long? You get? Are they going to last for long? Is Nam Dekano going to drop his agitation for Biafra? You know, Nam Dekano is is, uh, is his own ideology is different from that of Owanese. but they have a common ground, and is that common ground they want to fight for now? Marginalization, the killing, you know. And other form of injustice against the South is I think that's what they want to work toward on. But I don't think Nam Dekanu is going to stop agitating for uh Biafra. I don't think he's going to stop agitating for that. And, and I don't actually see Nia Umodo too as well stopping uh, to agitate for restructuring to start campaigning for Biafra. I don't think he's going to do that. But both of them are going to work on a common ground. That's what I feel. So what do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Before you leave, please do make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting that red subscribe button. And also to drop your comment, let me know what you think about this alliance between uh, um, Nam Dekano and Nia Umwodo at last. What do you think about this? Drop your comment. Thank you very much for watching this video. Share this video to your friends on Facebook whatsapp twitter and other social media network god bless you as you do that thanks for watching